Hey guys. Can I say hi? Um, so I'm doing this on my phone because of the simple fact that I am not home. I am at Nick's house. And we just got back from a funeral to mind my face. And we're going to go stuff our face with food because that is the best thing to do when you're upset. So Nick is picking out um, pizza and all the other fun stuff. So. Um, this week was um, basically when, you know, we have kids. How are we going to explain, um, you know, just, just the stuff how that goes are we gonna on. going to explain me? With the transition. Um, so, I don't know if the TV's loud or not, so I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Spongebob. Um, okay, so, I don't know if I mentioned before that I did have a miscarriage when I was 16. Um, I'm obviously not with the man that impregnated me because I will not consider him the father at all. No. So, if you're watching this... <laughs> You suck. Anyway, um, so I consider Nick the father of our twin daughters, Jaina and Nevea. Um, so I remember Nick and I were on the T, which is the train, to go up to school when we had classes. And he's like, you know, if the girls were here, like, how would we explain, you know... Um, when I get top surgery, like the scars and all of like, you know, doctor's appointments and everything like that. And, um, I think this is for, you know, whether the, our daughters were here or not, or in the future when we have kids, um, I think that we would just explain to them that some mommy and daddies have different parts than other mommy and daddies right and sometimes the person like okay so I'm trying to like word this sometimes people are born in the wrong body and that you have to make changes to be in the body that you want to be in um just because, you know, Nick's physical appearance um, is going to look different doesn't mean that who he is on the inside is going to be different. I think, like, with tea and stuff, there'll be some, like, you know, alterations, obviously, with stuff um, physically and I think mentally as well. Um, but... Just explaining that, you know, daddy's daddy and, you know, daddy can be a male or daddy can be a female. Does that sound right? And... And I think it's going to be a lot easier in society, like, when we do eventually decide to have kids. I'm hoping that society is better and that we'll be able to fix it all like it we won't have to explain that much at that point in time because I don't I don't want to have kids until we're financially ready so I would say that I do want I don't I don't like our society at the moment I don't like how some people are like think they're so much better because of one thing or another but I mean there's nothing you can really do about it until until society is better I do not want kids because I feel like they are just going to grow up to hate society yeah and be unaccepted because they come from a woman and an FTM and I think that's horrible I think and that was very jumbled but my mind is all over the place today yeah I'm sorry. We had a really rough morning. Um, but also, I think with the stuff that's going on this week, um, tonight is the Bruce Jenner um, interview 
on Dateline, I believe it is. And later on here locally in Pittsburgh, there's um, an LGBT community called the Delta Foundation. And um, our friend Chance, who is FTM, is going to be on our local news. Which I think is huge because... It's, it's a step in the right direction. It is a step in the right direction. And I'm very excited about that. And the show on Amazon, um, Transparent, Ellen talked about it. Um, which I think is it's big because it's not being covered up anymore. It's not being... It's not a taboo subject. It still is, but it's still not. And I think now, like, with our generation, like... I'm 22, Nick's 21. So in our generation, it's... We're learning a lot more about it, I think. And I believe because of social media and the internet and all of that stuff. So we're a lot more open-minded to it, I guess. I mean, there's still people that are, you know, very closed-minded and stuff like that. Um, But I think our generation is a lot open-minded, you know what I mean, than how he's not even paying attention because Spongebob is on. Spongebob. Um. And I'm really hungry. We're a lot open-minded than, you know, our parents and, you know, our grandparents and everything. So I think that, and I even said this before, whenever we decide to have a child and it's time for them to, like, tell me, tell us, like, whether it's a boy or a girl, a part of me doesn't want to know. I mean, we're going to find out eventually. Yeah, we're going to find but out. But I'm telling you right now, it's going to be everything gender neutral. Yes. Until they decide what they want to be. Exactly. How they feel inside. Not what they want to be, how they feel inside. I don't want to push, you know, Barbies just because I have a girl. I don't want to push, you know, trucks just because, you know, we have a boy. I don't want to do any of that. It's, we're going to take them to the toy department and be like okay pick out a toy like what do you feel like you should play with and not you know what your friends are playing with and everything so I believe that um you know whether our daughters are here or not they know daddy is male um they know daddy is gonna have you know a lot of doctor's appointments and, you know, surgery and all of that that they might not understand, but they're going to know daddy is male. And, you know, I, when they feel like they can distinguish between male and female and the gender, um, you know, we can slowly add in you know what I mean? The transgender part of it all and all that other stuff. Um, so, yeah. I think that's it. Is that it? I'm sorry there was no music. Like I said, I'm doing this on my phone. Um, <laughs> There's your music. <laughs> should we tell them the big news? I think we should make them wait until next week. You want to wait till next week? Yeah. Another big news? Yeah. Okay. Peace out. I'll see you later. And I love you guys. Bye.